You found him? Yes, I have. Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. You're worried about house chores. Let's go. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. Oh, I guess. <laughs> if you like that sort of thing. It's a rainbow, Arthur. Everyone likes rainbows. Maybe there's a pot of gold at the end of it. Or the Blackwater money. <sighs> if only. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Miss, can I get a sip of that? Come on, please, just one sip. All right, here, make it quick. <clears throat> oh, damn. That's good. That's your lot. Listen, you couldn't get me a blanket or, or a dry pair of boots, could you? Sure. You want a bottle of champagne with that, too, coming right up? No. I don't think so. Damn it. Where's Trelawney? Who knows? Just... Hey. <clears throat> Where is that little Irish best? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the black water to see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Uh, well, we got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they want to trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or we'll cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Scaldings, boys, are moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... we need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure. Well, we'll rescue Sean and then we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. I keep hearing about this woman, Heidi McCourt. Some young mother, they're saying, Dutch murdered on the boat. I don't know about that. I wasn't there. Look out! Bad day. Down there. Reckon those might be our boys. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. Keep your guns away until we know it's Sean, okay? I know what you two are like. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Come on, let's keep them in sight. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Let's see what we're dealing with here. 
So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skeldon's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, and wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Crouch down out of sight. Take out your knife. Wait. Okay, let's move down. Don't cross until he's got their attention. Hold up, he's doing his thing. Gentlemen, Gentlemen. excuse me. Dear brother, my wife is taken ill, gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. She's you take the one on the left. Very okay, sir. come on. Stay low. I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, mister. I, I, I can't. I can't. I, I'm having a fit. <laughs> Okay, let's get after him. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Come on. We got two halfway up the canyon to deal with. all those boots you got there, eh?
Let's get Sean. Hey! What are you all doing? Arthur. <laughs> you know, you're a lot less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. Do I get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah, I can't wait. <clears throat> I imagine y'all missed me a lot. But fear not, the joy's back in your lives now. John is back. And don't you worry, Miss Grimshaw, you old crone. I'll keep them girls in line. If I have to whip them over. Like and you get a bump on the head. And don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk old shitbag. It'll be nothing but the, the finest game in the pot. Now, Deadeye Maguire's back. <laughs> and don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. I love you, bastards. <laughs> Have fun. Have we lots of fun. Even you, you oh, grumpy we... old bastard, oh, Arthur. Come on, let's enjoy ourselves. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. I just can't get rid of you, can I? Mind if I join you fine folks? <laughs> I suppose. You're looking lovely as ever. If I may say so. Oh, stop it. Listen, my friend. <laughs> Do you know the Louisville maid? Oh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. Well, I just don't need to fall over. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. Mark, well, what I did say. And she was Mr. Summer's dream. It was diddle diddle all the day. Will you dance with me, Arthur? Sure. I ain't much of a dancer. Look at him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> See, Arthur, it's okay to dance. Doesn't mean we won't stop thinking you're angry and sad. Uh, what you think of me? <laughs> sad in a good way, like. A romantic poet. Well, that's about all I can muster. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. Thank you again well, for the dance, Miss Gaskell. But of course. Anytime. You're better than I thought you'd be. Oh, try and take that as a compliment. <laughs> 